love, money, and trust. Three things that can shape the best of relationships, but in the wrong hands, they can also become weapons of destruction. Today, we are stepping into a world where technology has now become a tool for exploitation, and lies are told so sweetly that even the smartest minds can fall victim. These are not just stories of scams, they are stories of lives forever changed by greed and fraud. On this week's episode of Scammers Busted, you will see just how far some people will go for money and what it takes to bring them to justice. In Thailand, a Roman scam syndicate was dismantled by the Thai authorities in an operation they codenamed Black Horse Down. The masterminds of this crime syndicate are three Thai women, one Thai man and two Nigerian men. Among the two Nigerians, a man called Christian was revealed to be the person in charge of the money laundering aspect of the operation. Money laundering is a serious financial crime where criminals try to hide the source of money that they obtain through illegal means. In this case, through romance scams, it's like trying to wash dirty clothes to make them clean, but with money instead. Christian allegedly coordinated a web of over 1,000 fake bank accounts. These accounts were used to funnel money from victims of the romance scams. Once the victims sent money, the funds disappeared into a host of transactions. Thai authorities launched Operation Black Horse Down after receiving so many complaints from victims. This motivated the Department of Special Investigation to conduct raids across Bangkok. Christian, the ringleader, was later captured by the immigration police for visa violations and handed over to the DSI. The criminals faced serious charges including public fraud, uploading false information into a computer system, and money laundering. Investigators revealed that the gang carried out over 50 million baht in transactions, that's over 2 billion naira. Thai authorities are now working to identify other criminals and trace the remaining funds. As for Christian and co, they are looking at spending a long time in prison. Two cyber criminals, Matthew Akonde and Ken Ide Oyetunji, found themselves in hot water after they were arrested for being the masterminds of a sophisticated tax fraud scheme that stole millions from US taxpayers. Between 2016 and 2021, Matthew and Ken Ide targeted tax preparation firms in the US. Their evil scheme started when Matthew sent out phishing emails to the firms. These emails appeared to come from potential clients seeking tax preparation services, but the truth is, the emails contained a deadly malware. The malware is known as Warzone Rat. Rat, which means remote access Trojan, gave Matthew remote access to the tax firm systems. Through this access, he extracted personal data of everyday taxpayers, like their names and their social security numbers, everything needed to file a fraudulent tax return. With the stolen data in hand, Matthew and his team filed over 1,000 fake tax returns. They requested refunds to be deposited into bank accounts controlled by Kane Day and other fellow criminals. Once the IRS issued the refunds, Kane Day and his team withdrew the cash in the US while a portion of the stolen money was transferred to Matthew and his gang in Mexico. Over five years, this operation attempted to defraud the US government out of $8.1 million. Why they only succeeded in stealing $1.3 million, the impact on victims whose identities were compromised was quite devastating. After years of investigation by the IRS Criminal Investigation Division and the FBI, the scheme was unraveled. Matthew was arrested at Heathrow Airport in London in October 2024, while Kane Day had already pleaded guilty in late 2022. Now, both men face serious charges including wire fraud, unauthorized computer access, and aggravated identity theft. The charges could lead the two men to more than 20 years in prison. Stay away from crime to avoid wasting your youth locked up behind bars. Finally, in Nigeria, Philip Yemi Fatuyi, the once reverend chairman of the Natural Oil and Gas Suppliers Association of Nigeria, Nogasa, was sentenced to 21 years in prison for over 40 million naira fraud. Philip's downfall began in 2016 when he, along with his company, Ocean View Oil and Gas Limited, was accused of defrauding another victim, Wapsiu Nigeria Limited. 
Posing as a trusted businessman and FX trader, he collected about 43 million naira from his victim, promising to help them convert it to dollars, which was around $98,000 at the time. But that promise turned out to be a lie. The victims never received anything back. The EFCC brought a two-count charge against Phillips in April 2022, obtaining money by false pretenses and stealing. Phillips pleaded not guilty, leading to a tedious trial that lasted for over two years. Eventually, Phillips was sentenced to 14 years in prison for the first charge and seven years in prison for the second charge of stealing, both to be served concurrently. His company, Ocean View Oil and Gas Limited, was ordered to pay 750,000 naira in fine within 30 days of face liquidation. Also, the court ordered restitution of $90,000 or its naira equivalent to the victims. I have a quick math question for you. Tell me, if someone was sentenced to 21 years in prison for stealing 43 million naira, how many years will he be sentenced for stealing 80 billion naira? Wow, the world of financial crime is both shocking and fascinating. Stories like this remind us to always stay vigilant. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, please like and subscribe for more stories about cybercrime and financial fraud. Remember, crime doesn't pay. Stay safe.